Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. I want to give another double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, blessings out there to you, sincere Akim and Akwatim that's listening in sincerity and in truth. All right, Shalom. Enough respect out there to you, brothers. That's pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Keep pushing. All right. This is Brother Malachi. And I'm going to get into a short lesson, Lord willing. Uh, a, a small exhortation. You know, coming into, um, how can I say it? Coming into the times that we're, we're coming in, we see an influx of, of a lot of, you know, of, of people being called coming into this truth. Okay. And now when you come into this truth, you see that this is the time that we need to kind of resort back to the sincere milk to give unto the sheep. All right. So uh, with all these things happening with people quarantined in, in their homes. All right. They can't go to work. They're not going to school, you know, so on and so forth. People are at the house. They're sitting home. And now this is the time that the most High has his spirit upon basically on this earth right now. And those who have been called, they will come across an Israelite video, all right? Mainly Great Millstone or, you know, any other doctrine that, uh, Salaki, not doctrine, but any other Israelite group that is out there, all right? But this is the true, the 100% doctrine that if you do come across this video of Great Millstone, you should be tuned in to this, all right? To desire this sincere milk which is the scriptures of what we're about to get into today, okay? This is, should be an exhortation to help build you up in the spirit to let you know that if you see different videos out there and you're not getting it, don't worry about it. Start small. Work your way up, all right? So let's start in the uh, book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Okay? So such as a, a newborn babe. Alright? A newborn babe when she's he or she is born. Alright? She's giving suck unto the mother. Alright? Off the mother's breast. Alright? Which includes all the different vitamins and nutrients that the baby needs to grow thereby. It's the same thing as when you come into this truth. Okay? When you come into this truth... You may hear a lot of different things that, 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 that are so deep and, 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 and that you may not be able to grasp at the moment. That means that is the part of the, that is the, the milk. I mean, it's like that is the meat of the scriptures. All right. You need to resort back to uh, the milk. All right. Such as the, the smaller things, the things that are not too high for you, the things that you can obtain. All right. Easily. Okay. Knowing that, uh, you know, the, the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, you know, the smaller things to help get you to grasp, to see this truth. This is where you need to start and work your way up. Work your way up until you get into the deeper things of the meat, the things that are to hold you while you're in this truth. Okay. Um, this is first Peter chapter two and two it again at the top as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby, all right? This is the only way that you're going to be able to grow in this truth, all right? Desiring the sincere milk, all right? And, in with, and as you get built up, you're going to be able to go back and forth, back and forth, and you will be able to obtain everything, okay? Verse 3, if so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a, li a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Most High and precious, all right? So if you're one of those men that have been chosen, all right, that have been called, as the scripture says, many are called, but few are chosen, all right? So if you're one of these men, desire it, all right? The Lord is being gracious unto you, all right? He's showing you the, the, the things that, even the milk of the scriptures, is knowing more than whatever it is out here in, in this world. Okay? Because everything out here in this world, the, the wisdom of this world is foolishness. All right? Unto the Most High. All right? So, let's read on. Verse 4. I mean, verse 5. Ye also 
as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. Okay? So when you're getting built up, all right, from a youth and, you know, working your way up, at this, at this time, you're putting off that old man. You're, you're, you're getting renewed in your mind. All right? All the old ways that you used to have in the past, that should be getting ready to be put off as you're desiring this sincere milk. All right? You're able to obtain it. Letting go all the different wisdom and philosophies of this world, let that go. It's not going to matter. All right? Because this is the true knowledge of what you're supposed to have. All right? Desire that sincere milk. It says, ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right? So we're building up that spiritual house. All right? In order for you to build up that spiritual house, you have to grow. All right, you have to get strong enough to bring in the bricks to build up the place and putting them rightly in this rightful place. All right, going out, being able to teach the word, being able to obtain it. All right, feeding the flock. All right, so desire that sincere milk. <clears throat> We're going to start off in the book of uh, John chapter 15 and 1. All right, it's, it's, it, it is a parable, and I know that it is... Um, it, 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 it to certain people it will be to it will be meat to them, but in this scripture I will you know we're gonna break it down okay. So this is the book of John fifteen and one. It says, "I am the true vine." Okay, so I am the true vine. This is Yahushai. Okay, and it says, "And my father is the husbandman." So my father is who. It is Yahweh. All right. So you have Yahweh Shai, and it says the father is the husbandman, is Yahweh. All right. So a husbandman is someone that that, that, that is a tiller. He, he, he plows the ground. All right. So you have Yahweh, he's tilling the ground, making it right. He comes up with this true vine. All right. Which is Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse two Every branch in me. That beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Now, as Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, as, the, uh, as, as you, such as being that branch, if you have been called and you're not bringing any fruit, you're not growing, you will be taken out of the way. Okay? It says, every branch in me, all right? Yahawashai has to be in you. All right? You have to be in Yahawashai, Salakia. All right? It says, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So this is where you see many people may come into this truth and they may just, they, they just, they take it for granted. They're not being serious with it. The Most High take away that spirit out of them and they back into darkness. All right? It says, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit. All right. Quick testimony. We just go and in, into in, in me. All right. I can see that the time from when I first came into this truth, I was going from different Israelite groups to different Israelite groups trying to trying to find the truth. All right. And I got the truth, but it was something in me desiring more all right even though i got the uh i got the sincere milk at the time you know the deuteronomy the some of the curses going into the laws uh, you know certain things of, of of the sincere milk that i needed to obtain all right i had obtained it but i was searching for a little bit more solids at that time all right so it says back again Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, such as me at that time, I started to bear little fruit. Then it says, he purgeth it. Let's get into that word, he purgeth it. I didn't look that up, but let's look it up. He purgeth it. All 
right? From the Greek word. Strong's G, 2508. Kathairo. 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 All right. So now it is a verb. It says the biblical usage to cleanse of filth, impurity, etc. To prune trees and vines from useless shoots. A metaphor from guilt to expiate. All right. To purge out, to cleanse of the filth. So let's go back to that scripture. All right. It says, and every branch that bears fruit, he purges it. Meaning he's going to take you through some things. All right. <laughs> and I can, I, 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 through experience, I can, I can honestly say it. All right. So while you started to bear little fruit, he's going to purge you even more. He's going to put you through a lot of things to remove that filth out of you. All right. And it says that it may bring more fruit. All right. So when I first started coming to this truth and I was just getting the desired uh, milk, you know, the scriptures and I was, I was you know, keeping up with it. But I still had a lot of demons and things on me at the beginning. All right. Before the state that I'm in right now, the most High purged me away from all those things. I used to, man, when I first came in, I used to have a the bad smoking demon on me. I could not get it off. But the most I had to take me through a lot of things. All right. All right. I had I used to have a lot of money. The most I took all that away. He took a lot of things away to let me see to where I can bring more fruit. All right. That was the cleansing process that he needed for me to go through. All right. So that therefore what it happened to me. May not be the same lot for you, but everyone's going to have to go through something to go through that purge. All right. You got to get pur cleanse a lot of those things off of you. All right. It says, let's start, start at the top. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. All right. So if you're bringing in some fruit and you're coming out of a, a plateau effect, now this is when you're going to see the most High going to start to deal with you more. He's going to bring in some things that's going to purge you to cleanse those things away from you. All right. So that therefore those distractions that you had, it will be gone so that therefore you can bring more fruit. All right. Verse three, it says now. Ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. All right. These scriptures, you get into these scriptures, you start to learn more. You start to get more endowed into it because these, these scriptures are as water, deep waters, living waters. When you get into it, this is how you're going to be cleansed through the washing of the word. All right. As the scripture says, this is the book of John 15 and 4. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. So that branch is talking about you, the hopeful elect. All right. You cannot bear any fruit without Yahweh Shai. You cannot. All right. It says, except it abide in the vine. Meaning you have to abide in Yahweh Shai. You have to abide in Yahweh Shai to get this word. All right. This is how he's able to sub with you. Let's, I, I believe that's in Revelations 3. I believe it's in Revelations 3 at the end. Here it is. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, that's when you've been called, all right? And you and you you open a salakia. It says, when you have been called, and it says when this is and open the door, meaning you open up your mind to him. You're, you're, you're humbling yourself. All right. It says, I will come in to him 
and will sup with him and he with me. All right, let's read that again. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. All right, so this is the prophets that's out here on the highways and hedges, on on on, on the uh, uh on social media platforms and YouTube. This is Yahweh Shai. All right. Well, this is uh the Most High. He's calling you to draw you near to Yahweh Shai. He's knocking at the door. The prophets were speaking through. All right, to you. It says, and knock. All right, knocking on your mind. If any man hear my voice, meaning through the way of the prophets, and open the door, meaning open up in your mind, I will come into him and will sub with him and he with me. And at that time, that's when the Lord is going to start to deal with you more. All right, he's going to purge those things. All right, he's going to be able to push those things away. So therefore, you can bring more fruit to help build up that spiritual house that we just read earlier in, in, in what, 1 Peter's second chapter? So it reads, verse 5, I am the vine, no, Salakia, verse 4, abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, Yahweh Shai, no more can ye except ye abide in me. So always abide in Yahweh Shai. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the way to salvation. All right? That's the door. That's the door to salvation. Yahweh Shai, he is that vine. So abide in him. Therefore, when you abide in him, you're going to be designed to sincere milk. You're going to be able to get these scriptures. You're going to be able to obtain it to help build up that spiritual uh, 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 house, that spiritual uh, uh, house, and 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 uh, um, you're giving. So, like, I forgot what I was going to say. You're building up that spiritual sacrifice. I mean, that spiritual house by you giving a spiritual sacrifice of your body, of of the, giving the, the things of the flesh away. But you're you're building up your spirit. All right, and I, and, and all you're praising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse six. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Let's read that again. If a man abide not in me. All right. This is a man that think he can come up some other way. It says if a man abide not in me. He is cast forth as a branch. These are people coming up another way. They think that they can do it on their own. Oh, I got the scriptures. I can do it. They're being proud. They're not humbling themselves. This is that branch that, don't, that hey, he already got it. So therefore, the Heavenly Father tosses it. He doesn't need it. He is cast forth as a branch and is withered. All right. He's going to wither away. To where he can't do anything. You can't do anything without Yahweh Shai. He don't he want to be all proud and don't want to come underneath Yahweh Shai. He's gonna be withered. And it says, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. And that's gonna be uh, 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 um, symbolizing what's gonna happen in these last days when these nukes drop. Because they did not listen to this word. They didn't want to listen and humble down. They want to come up some other way. They're going to be withered until the time of, 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 of this big uh, sacrifice that a lot of people are going to get burned here because they did not want to hearken unto the Heavenly Father, all right, in His Word, which is Yahweh Shai. They didn't want to abide in Yahweh Shai. Mainly, they didn't want to believe in Yahweh Shai. As the scripture says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture says, all right, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You're going to know when a person is believing on Yahweh Shai. You're going to see he's going to start to deal with them on a different level. He's going to start to grow. But he got to start from that sincere milk. All right. So verse seven, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask. What ye will, and it shall be done 
unto you. So the things, if you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, you're not asking for anything amiss, all right? The Heavenly Father will give it to you, but ask it in the name of Yahweh Shai, all right? Verse 8, it says, Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples, all right? So you come into this truth, all right? Eventually, you're going to be built up to a point to where the people are going to be able to see you. They're going to be able to see that you've been, uh, 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 have, have been, been dealt with on a certain type of level to where you're glorifying the Father, all right? You're glorifying the Father. Why? Because uh, uh, you abide in Yahweh Shai. You are abiding in that vine. All right, you're going to be that, that tree, that branch, Salakia, that, that is bearing fruit. All right, you're not going to be cast away. All right, and it says, Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Lord willing, that's what the men of the Lord is what we're trying to do. We're trying to be built up. All right, we're trying to uh, 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 be the Lord's disciples. All right, let's jump into the book of 1 Timothy, and we can start at verse 9. It reads, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception. For therefore, we, we Salakia, for therefore, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power. All right. The things that you go through your everyday uh, life, such as me, you know, I, hey, a lot of things are going on right now, all right? Well, we're going through a lot of labor, a lot of suffer, suffering, all right? A lot of reproach, all right? Because we trust in the living power. You got brothers, they just gave up everything. They gave up everything, all right? But now they may be held out of reproach by others. They're suffering. All right, they're laboring, work, doing this work. It's, 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 it's a hindrance unto them, but they do this all because they lit us, like it, because they believe in the living power. All right, it says, because we trust in the living power who is the savior of all men, especially of those that believe. All right, these things command and teach. All right? So it doesn't matter if you have a whole full of knowledge. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge, but I have, you know, a, a, a certain amount of knowledge that I'm not going to hold that talent that I have. I'm not going to keep it in the uh, in the napkin. All right? That's just that's, a, that's another parable that, you know, we can go to a, 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 on another lesson. But don't hold the things that you have, okay? If the Lord has called you into this thing, grow thereby. Take your time, all right? The Lord will eventually deal with you more and you will be, begin to grow more and more and more, all right? It says, let no man despise thy youth, all right? Right now, I'm in the time of my youth and a lot of brothers, they can see that I'm, I'm growing, you know, probably slowly, but eventually I'm, I'm getting to the point to where I need to be, all right? Everything is given to each brother in measure, Okay, that's another thing to believe, all right? Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers, all right? You see me, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the work, okay? So such as a believer, someone that has just been called, someone that has just seen this video, they should be able to see, oh man, hey, he's doing it, so I should be able to do it. All right, I can see the Lord dealing with him. I seen his videos from a year ago. He wasn't speaking like that. He speaks different. All right, I can see that he's growing. All right, it says, Salakia, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity, till... Salakia, <clears throat> till I come, 
give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. So until Yahweh Shah makes his second coming, give attendance to reading, exhortation, to the doctrine, looking at the videos, reading, studying. Give due diligence to those things, all right, to make your calling and election sure, all right? Verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee. We all know every brother has a gift within themselves. They feel something, all right? This is that, that, that charge, that surge in them, that fire that's in them that keeps them going, all right? That's, that's, that's the spirit when it's on fire. That's Yahweh Shah supping with you, all right? Don't let that fire ever go out. Don't never let it go out. Don't let it just be little sparks. No, let, keep it on fire, man. You got to stay on fire in this thing too as well. Verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear unto all. All right, verse 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee, okay? So when you first come into this truth, all right, you're going to be learning a lot, all right? You're not going to be speaking as much, but eventually you're going to get to the point to where you're going to start to speak more you're going to be able to do a little bit more. That's that fruit growing. You're going to see that you've been purged. A lot of old things that you used to do is, is out the window. You're not even thinking about it anymore. All right? That's the most high purging you, getting you built up, giving you experience. All right? Giving, getting you ready to build up that spiritual uh, house. All right? That priesthood is growing. All right? This is the tabernacles of David. It's being grown right now. Okay? And when you uh, go into the scriptures, you're going to see that not every man is going to have the same office, okay? So let's read in the book of Romans 12 and 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, all right? So don't come in all high-minded Oh, man, I know this scripture. I can, I can, no, man, no. Trust me. It's a very humbling experience, all right? It can happen to any brother. It even happened to me. Don't think that yourself as, as someone thinking that you're highly, that you know you have a lot of knowledge because you know a couple scriptures, all right? You will be brought low. You will be humbled down, all right? It's brothers that have been out here five, ten plus years, all right? They know the scriptures. They know they got the experience, all right? So you just now coming in, you have no uh, uh, no soul. You, you shouldn't even be trying to step over the order of, of those men, okay? Humble down. Just take everything in and listen. You will learn. Just give it due time. The Lord gives the increase, all right? It says, but to think soberly according as the Most High have dealt to every man the measure of faith. All right? Every man is given a different measure of faith. Okay? Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we being many, we being many, are one body in uh, Hamashiach. And everyone, and everyone members one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. So every brother has a different gift, all right? The gift is different within me or another brother next to me or it doesn't matter. That is a, a gift that was given unto you from the Most High, okay? It says, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Verse 7. 
or ministry. Let us wait on our ministering or he that teaches on teaching or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation and poor that which is evil cleave to wet to that which is good. These are the things that Yahweh Shai wants that body to, to become. All right, you got these different gifts. So now you having this gift can help this brother out with his. All right, you can help build up that spiritual house. This is what the Lord is wanting, all right? And these are the things that we're into right now. We're building up that, that priesthood. We're building up that, that spiritual house, all right? We're giving our bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? Verse 10, be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honoring, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, because right now, this is the time that you should not be slothful in business. Right now, this is the business that we're running. We're doing the work, okay? It says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in the hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distri distributing to the necessity of the saints given to hospitality, all right? Many of these things, all right? This is what the Lord is wanting from his men, all right? Because we're getting ready to build up this spiritual house and it's getting ready to be translated from this kingdom to another kingdom in all righteousness, all right? Where we're, we're, uh, so lucky, we're rehearsing their righteous acts, all right? This is the time to get it right right now. All right. So if you're still just not coming to this truth and you see a lot of brothers ahead of you, and you see them, how they're moving. Take that as an example to learn from them. Don't be all high minded because the Lord has called them first for a reason so that you can learn from them. All right. Talking to myself first and foremost. All right. I'm learning a lot from a lot of brothers and things like that. And then that's a good thing. It's humbling. All right. So, this is the time that we're in. Just know that when you first come into this truth, don't be all high-minded. Desire the sincere milk. Start from the bottom. The Lord will sup with you and he will, he, he will, make, he will make everything known unto you. The Holy Spirit is going to reveal all things unto you. All right? Lord willing, you are of, those, uh, 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 of that men, such as I. Lord willing, I am. Uh, but Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim. All right. That's listening in sincerity and in truth. All right. I want to give another double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. All right. This is the brother Malachi. Shalom.